I want to uh, share some thoughts on how to lead a small group discussion. I'm sure one of any time we may be called upon to lead some discussion in a small group. So it's a quite a useful skill to develop. Yeah, let me share my screen. And uh, how to lead small group discussion. There are a few basic principles on uh, leading a small group discussion. Is that I think you know, basically whatever you want to lead, we have to saturate with prayer. That means even not during, I mean, not uh, just pray before the meeting and after the meeting, but you know, even if you are preparing for the meeting, it's good to just pray and commit to the Lord and let the Holy Spirit to invite the Holy Spirit to come. So saturate, saturate your uh, small group uh, discussion. If you have to lead the small group, saturate with prayer first. Bring it to the Lord, commit to the Lord, and let the Lord lead. Then, uh, before you even start, you have to understand what is Christian leadership. There is a difference between leading for Christ, for God, and leading with God. Okay, there's a danger that you not know, just because we are a leader, we feel that we should do things for God. Okay, and uh, that is uh, important. Yes, we should do things for God. But it's more important, even more important to realize that we do things with God. So that is, this realization is important because it prevents us from running ahead before God. And it enables us as leader to lead with God. Okay. After having that, uh, spend some time meditating on what is a uh, Christian leader. Then when you plan the meeting, okay, have a sort of a, a, a meeting order or agenda in mind. So that you will know where which direction you're heading. Good is to start with either a prayer and then uh, introduce each other to one another if they don't already know one another. Okay, then you may or may not want, I mean, this is a suggestion. You want an icebreaker to break the ice, or you can just, uh, if they know each other, then go straight to a discussion. And then uh, when you finish, try to summarize. Okay, what are the keywords? What are the important thing? And then end with a word of prayer. So it's good to be uh, sort of have an agenda in view so that you know in your mind this is the order and the beginning, middle, and, and, and structure according to how long a discussion is, whether 20 minutes or one hour or two hours. As a leader, be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. That means as you begin to lead, don't, don't affect as and try to be, I'm a leader, I'm, I'm this, you know? Just, just be yourself. And uh, assure that people that this is a safe space. You know, you may even want to say, oh, this, uh, whatever we discuss within this discussion group remains there. That means we, we do not share with other people. So in other words, be open, okay? Be, allow people to share, be non-judgmental, protect them, and allow the, allow the Holy Spirit to work. And that makes a good discussion. So you, and as a leader, you're supposed to guide the discussion, but don't impose. Okay, that means um, make sure that the, that the discussion, that means you have to know the topic well. That's why it's important to think through the topic and then you guide the direction in the right, the discussion in the right direction. Okay. And uh, you don't have to have all the answers. Just be sensitive to Holy Spirit's leading. And you'll find that as you learn to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit leading, then you know that, okay, maybe it's time to steer the direction this way because that's what the Holy Spirit wants. And the, another important point is that in leading a discussion, be comfortable with silence. Okay. Sometimes it's good that, you know, uh, even in a discussion, people, everybody keep quiet because they're thinking about it. Give them time to think. Be comfortable with silence. No, uh, you will be surprised that, you know, the moment there's a loud in the discussion, you will jump in. 
there's this strong tendency to jump in and fill up the gap with some, uh, something. But allow for some time because some pe people need time to digest what has been said. And very important, keep time. Okay, be have a stopwatch or timer so that you know when your the meeting your discussion begins and when it ends and ends on time. Okay, don't drag it unless uh, you have a permission. The discussion is so good that you have permission from the whole group to continue. Otherwise, stop and say, okay, maybe we can uh, uh, continue discussion uh, elsewhere. Okay, some of the do's, model the behavior and things you want group members to employ. That means be the model. Okay, be polite, be gentle. Be kind. I think it's very important that you are the model as a leader. And use body language and tone of voice. Okay. You can say things like that. Or you can say, I agree with you. Why don't we just continue on this line of talk? Okay. And then even on Zoom, you can lean forward or backwards. You know? So so it, it, your body language shows. I mean, if I'm leaning backwards. You know, it's like, uh, I, I'm not that in the discussion, but if I'm leaning forward, when somebody's speaking, I'm interested. And always give a positive feedback. Yeah, I think that's good. That's a good point. I never thought about that before. I think you're in the correct direction. Follow that line. Be aware of people's reaction and feeling. Be sensitive. Okay? Some people may feel offended or then, then you need to stop the discussion there. Don't let it go further. And when you ask question, ask open-end question. How? What? Okay, not, uh, you know, yes or no answer. Because yes or no, finish. You see? Do you believe this? The answer is yes or no. Then no more discussion already. But ask how? What? This is our question. Okay? And remember to control your own bias. Okay, sometimes uh, the discussion may go somewhere against what we believe in, but not as long as it's not heretical, it's not outside, be open. And let others do the talking. Just because you're a leader doesn't mean that we, you will have to do all the talking. Okay, that's, a, that's a short thing about uh, leading Bible study, leading uh, a discussion group. Okay, I hope that uh, as you lead the more, you get more experience and you become comfortable. God bless you. Thank you for listening.